In this video, we're going to demonstrate the use of a common size income statement. And we're going to use it to make comparisons between Amazon, whose stock ticker is AMZN, and Walmart, whose stock ticker is WMT. And we have financial statements here that revenue minus cost of goods sold gives you gross profit, selling general and admin expenses, depreciation and amortization, you subtract that and you have operating income. Uh, list all the other stuff till you come down here with net income after taxes. And it's easy to see that Walmart is making much more money on their sales on a dollar per dollar basis but it's hard to really tell a lot about changes over time in these statements because it's hard to process the absolute dollar amounts. So Walmart's bigger, is it better? So while there are a lot of different ways to go analyze statements, one of the first steps most people begin with is to create the common size financial statement. And what a common size statement does, it divides every number in an income statement by revenue. And that way you'll get all of these numbers for each year as a percentage of that year's revenue. And it makes it easier to make comparisons that way. It's hard to say is 15 billion based on 61 billion in sales better or worse than 48 billion on 136 billion in sales. Alright, so I've already done the calculation, but essentially all you do is go here to the statement, take revenue, and divide by revenue for each element in the statement. And when I copy all those formulas over, that's what we get is everything is a percentage of revenue for the particular year. If we look at Amazon, one thing that will jump out is the cost of goods sold has been declining steadily by about two percentage points per year over the last five years, which means that their gross profit or their gross margin is increasing. If we compare that with Walmart, Walmart's gross profit margin is 25 percent almost like a, a metronome. There's a slight uptick in 2017 or, or the calendar year 2016 that ended in in uh, January 2017 but it's not necessarily a trend. If we look over here at selling general and admin expenses, we can see that those are going up for our friends at Amazon, which when we get to operating income, it is slightly higher in these later two years. All right, but the mix has changed. What we see is that there is a lower percentage of the operating expenses are cost of goods sold and a higher percentage of them are selling general and admin. Now, without digging a little bit further, I don't know exactly why that is, but I do note that it's a change and it's a change we don't necessarily see over here with our friends at Walmart. All right, so operating income, we can see that the earnings before interest and taxes, operating income, Walmart's is pretty stable, but it has declined slightly over the last few years. Part of the reason is that the SGNA expense has climbed as a percentage of sales. And then part of it part of it there might be some small offset here in the cost of goods sold, but that's the the, the lion's share of it. Now these are big companies. You don't necessarily expect to see changes uh, or large changes from one year to the next. For small companies you actually would. 
when we get down to the bottom line, we can see that Amazon does not make much money on its sales, at least at this time. They make a lot of sales, but the net income generated from all those sales is actually fairly small. Walmart's is in the three three and a half percent range, but it has declined in the latest two comparative years.